Now I'm going to show you how to take the basic uh, box position we talked about. So we were playing at the 9th and the 12th fret. And we're going to go to the key of C. And we're going to use this, we're going to move this box position around. So in the key of C, we've got C, F, and G for our 1, 4, and 5. I know you know that. Um, and we're going to move it around so that on the C chord, when we're on C, on a 12-bar blues, we're playing out of the 5th position and the 8th position. So 4th, 2nd, 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string here, and 2nd uh, and high string here. Then for the F chord, think about the top part of this bar chord. We're going to be here at the 10th fret, and then here on the top two strings. And then for G, 12th fret, and uh, 15th fret. And we'll take one basic lick and move it around through the changes over the first eight bars. So that's just we're playing on the middle three strings here. And then so I'm doing that move up to the from the fifth to the eighth fret and back. Then take that up to the F chord. there when you're on the four chord and then bring it back down when you're on the C chord again. Now when you get to the turnaround, you can do a similar thing, but just walking backwards through the three positions. So here I'm up at the 15th fret on the second string. then at the 13th fret for F, and then starting at the 8th fret for C. And just a couple details about that particular turnaround lick. Here I'm doing a slide back one fret, uh, and then returning to the 15th fret. And I'm keeping this muted while I get down here for the slide into the third. Now, going into the F, that's kind of a sneaky cheat. You don't want to hear this. What I'm doing is, as soon as I go from the 10th fret of the third string to the, I'm oh, sorry, from the 12th fret of the third string to the 13th fret on the second string, I'm getting in there with the thumb to mute what would be this note. And I'm also kind of doing that trick again that I showed you in the open position where I'm pulling the slide back. So it's really not even covering the third string at that point. So um, that's just take how, how to take that box position and use it to cover all three chords. Let me show you what that sounds like in context. First, I'll play over the first eight bars of a 12-bar blues in C, so just, and I'll just take that one lick and move it around, playing it on C and F. So here's the five to the four to the one. So now you can take that position and just using that lick as an exercise. Practice going through. You can even play that lick. It's a little too long to play it over the over the five to the four. So it helps to uh, try that uh, turnaround lick I showed you when you get to the turnaround. But you could put it all together and practice it over 12-bar blues. You could break them up and practice them as two separate things. Um, 
sometimes it's good just to practice going back and forth from the one to the four to the one to the four just to get used to that and get used to that moving that position around but you can take any licks you've got if it works in C <laughs> And you can just transpose it. And move it around. Just you've only got half as much time on the on the G and the F chord at the end. Uh, so you have to keep things shorter. You can't sequence them exactly like you can between the C and the F chord. So that's the idea. So uh, take some time with that lick or some variations or other licks we've worked on or licks of your own and uh, practice getting around through the three positions so that you can do that on blues.